He's got his own Facebook page for himself. <laughs> Bit of a fan page someone set up after last year's World Championship. I'm not surprised. Look at him. <laughs> How shiny can you get? <laughs> Golden bar. Jan Schrader in the centre there for Germany, looking fantastic in his new kit. Opted for the Grand Bassinet. Nice. Bar grill on the front of his helmet there, I think it's 10 mil thick. <laughs> he does not want anything to move here. As I said, you'll see every different sizes and shapes in this sport. There's no right or wrong model. Everyone's ready. Here comes crunch time. Well, very confident moving up the middle. Gemma, 2-2-1 two, two, split. Checking the middle. Golden Knights looking around to see what's happening. Oh, he's away again. No. Oh, big boy comes in. Oh, he checks it. Oh, it's a man big boy. Germany, huh? Oh, boom. Oh, but he's still up. He wasn't happy with getting hit. Oh, advantage to Sweden here. Yeah. Jonas straight in there trying to cancel that out. Advantage oh, against oh, yeah. Sweden. Daniel Ronquist coming in there in the Eastern Armour. Beckers, right on the ass. Back hit to the back of the shoulder. And again to the back of the head. This is really where you want your armour to be paying off. Trying to work out what's going on with Jan there. Just bent double over the barrier. He's not moved for a little while. He's certainly not going down. But... Just must be hanging on for dear life. And a back hit! Oh, yes! Two's charging in and checked in the middle. Now it just turns into absolute war of attrition. Yeah. Oh, punches! Repeat punches to the German's face! Jonas kicking the little golden <laughs> fella despite getting punched in the face left, right and centre. <laughs> oh, what a grilling match this is. Oh, someone's chopping some wood. There we go, right at the back of the armour. Trying to de the leg in. But he's still up. He's still up. He's still up. Needs to be careful with the holding the list there, yeah. Yep. We do not allow holding the list here. It's got to be your strength, not a piece of wood to keep you up. Marshals is oh, the right front punches. Of him, so they seem pretty two, confident. Two gauntlets going in in the guy's face. Oh, that jammer's made of rocks. All the fighters are starting to run down their energy, is getting pretty tired. The longer this continues, the tired they're going to be. And we do have to fight again straight after this. I imagine there'll be a lot of swap outs after this round. Do so you have to highlight as well the effect? That oh, he has. no one's done! Oh, and Jonas, is he gone? Oh, oh. he's been out, yes. Unfortunately, a knee on the ground there as he took down that Swedish fighter. Oh, back and That's it, love. first round to Sweden. Fantastic victory there. Well done, the Marshals, for charging here to stop it. And well done, that man, for taking that beating. He's an obstinate little fella, <laughs> old Jan. <laughs> well done. Fantastic effort from the Swedes here. I don't think anyone would have called that on paper. No. But as we found yesterday, everything we thought we knew about this sport is out the window. Nothing is making sense. So we try to make predictions, but normally we just try and shut our face because we come off as idiots. <laughs> Be interested to see how far that round's affected the Swedes, though. They've got a fight immediately after this fight as well. They've got Poland in the next fight with only a short rest in between. Of course, only the top two from each group go through to the next round. Be interesting to see what we're talking about here on the Swedish side. One new taxes we may try. Who knows? It's Martin Casey, their head, head marshal on the field at the moment, it appears to be talking to. There's a couple of Swedish uh, members there, but there's also the Danish fives captain. Mm. So. Curious to see what's going on there. Are you ready for the second round here? Once Only a again, couple two, of changes. Two, two, one split for Germany. Germans appear to have made three one. changes there on the left. So there may be some. Swedish team only two changes. Looks like it's okay now.
<laughs> Sweets getting the crowd involved. <laughs> and just so you know, this place is packed to the gunnels. Absolutely heaving. <laughs> we have a cheering on from Finland now. Whole of the Scandinavian team seems to club together in a bit of support. There we go. There we go, second round. Swedes are going to be looking for a very quick victory here. Broken through the middle. It's getting tracked by Jonas Manka there. Oh, we trip. It could have been fatal. It happened to hey, me yesterday. <laughs> right on the back. He's not seen him. Oh, it was a missed opportunity there. Didn't quite have enough momentum to take advantage of that there. A big accident. Some nice work. Another slam. Falling into a series of 1v1 fights now. Oh, Swedish fighter down. lost his buckler there. As long as he's fully armoured underneath that shield, it doesn't matter if you lose it. So there'll be oh! no penalties. Oh, they're both down. Oh, both down there. Yeah, it's a problem when you overcommit, but then if you don't overcommit, you get a good chance you ain't taking them down. German fighter just dragging his man across there to try and help his partner. Again, two down together. Still 3-3. Just so you know, it is 24 degrees here. It's very still today as well. It's been hot for the last yeah. few days. It's been a lovely breeze today. It's absolutely melting hot. So back up in Scotland, this probably the Germans have the advantage now. Here we go. A good run. Watch behind. Back slam and a knee to the back. Didn't quite have a achievement he was going for, but eh ho. Difficult with the list there. You just end up compressing everyone into the lists when they're pressed against it that time. Stopping it. Oh, Marshall's getting involved here. Swedish oh, fighter being told to take a seat. I can't see why. Oh, it appears he was holding on to his blade behind the opponent's neck. You're not allowed to do yep. that. You're allowed to wrap them up, but as soon as you grip both sides of your blade, that's a no-go, unfortunately. A victory for Germany there. Makes it one all. Going into the third round now. By no means easy, that victory for the Germans there. Yep. The Swedish have really come a long way in the past year. Been fantastic. Goes back home in Scotland, it's 24 degrees here, which would be one of our hottest summers. On record. Uh, and, then, <laughs> and then strap yourself up in a big juicy gamson, which is like a duvet. Get yourself covered in lots of steel and then run around for an entire day fighting people. And then stick a helmet on so you cannot see really, just tiny slits and you're breathing your own CO2. And you may have some idea of how physically exhausting this sport can be. Average armor weight's around 25 to 30 kilos as well. I just go and have my it's children wrap up my neck. <laughs> it's about the same weight. Although the Kiwis, the New Zealand fighters, struggling to get hold of hardened steel in New Zealand. So a lot of them are using mild, which means their armor's a lot thicker, a lot heavier. I think their team averaged about 40 kilos of armor. But that did show in the face yesterday. They were just solid, solid tanks. Oh, once they get that momentum up, there's no stopping them. <laughs> So here round three starting here, Let's slightly tentative, again a break through the middle like we saw before. Oh. <laughs> nice big slam. Oh, and the man's down. Going. Advantage to Germany. Oh, he's not, not happy. happy with that. Could be a second hit from behind from Jan here. Yeah. Uh, slowed himself down. As I was saying, yes, it's one of the horrible things is when you get your momentum right up, you're charging, you're going to smash your opponent, and then your teammate gets in the way and you've got to stop. Like, oh, God. Momentum can be a real double-edged sword as well. <laughs> and all this weight and all this armor is very easy to overbalance. And we have seen a few people slip, trip, and go down themselves. Germany with the advantage here. Four fighters oh, on three. Oh, here we go. Four on two oh. now. What's happening to Marshalls? Marshalls, yet again, interfering. Oh, big blow to the back of the head. Oh, he's chopping some wood now. He's down, he's down. And that's the end of the fight. Germany. That's it. 2-1 to Germany. Victory there. Good job. The Swedes are going to have just enough time to get their breath back before facing Poland now. That was a grueling fight there. Oh. You've got to feel sorry for Sweden just now. That's uh, 
such a gutsy fight in the first round. It's, yeah. it's always tough to, to come out and get that first victory and then actually lose the fight. So we break here just to let the Swedish team who've just had three very grueling rounds against Germany to have a wee break before we come back against Poland. A very tough team indeed. Well, they get a little break. It's only a few minutes just to keep the... There we go. Straight line for Sweden there. I think it's the same for Poland. I expect you see the central fighter here with the white tassels on his, uh, on his yep. armor there. Christoph Stetsky, oh, one of the top fighters. Two down. Four. Oh, Ooh, nice on dodge by now. Golden Boy. Oh, That's wow. It. Come on, fight over very quick there. Oh, Poland it. really setting the stall out early. And Golden Man just makes his way back to the list. Let's see, it looks like we're going to be a wee bit of swappage out here. I just couldn't oh, wear a golden armor like that. It's I'd cry every time I got hit. Yeah, it's just <laughs> too pretty. <laughs> But there have been so many fighters out here, we actually just want to come out and have a dance off because their armor is so nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chopping some wood. <laughs> but that's the problem when you're charging and someone goes down, you can't go down with them. Such oh, two. Wow. Huge that's... part of the game is learning exactly how to just run in someone full bore, but keep your legs away. <laughs> <laughs> Just avoiding that entanglement. <laughs> In these helmets, it's so hard to see what your feet are doing. It's a great skill to master, just to be able to dance away from people. Mm. So once again, to give you an idea of a visibility, do the move from Pulp Fiction with John Travolta, where he's putting his fingers to his eyes, but don't slide them across. And then looking through the gaps between your fingers should give you an idea of exactly the visibility of all these fighters. That's such a niche reference. I know. <laughs> I don't care if it's copyrighted, we're using it. There we go. Swede's coming out with a bit of panache there, stepping forward. Nice wee shimmies. Oh, big kick to the Golden Knight. Well, gold man find himself free in the middle. Oh, there. almost, almost, but Polish fighter still standing. Big hits. Polish fighter. Has anyone's given us now? Someone's dropped a weapon. Someone's not unarmed. That's Mateusz. Yep. there. he's got to run. He's got to push players oh, down. Sweden here. Oh, Swedish fighter lost his gauntlet, unfortunately. Oh, that was a big hit there. Sweden with a 3-2 advantage here. Oh, he's chopping some golden armor here. Remember, if the team has a three-on-one advantage, the fight is stopped. Oh, a big, big hit, hit from Mateusz there. By my man still standing. Oh, and he tripped over the opponent. That's us. 2 0 victory to Poland there. <laughs> Poland really coming out with a statement of intent here. Mm -hmm. And not hanging about. way of the draw this year, Poland have to be one of the favourites to make it through to the final. Mm. Such a strong team. Yeah. But then what year does Poland <laughs> not want to be one of the favourites? Well, we had them in our group stages last year. So, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, big, big hits you've seen on the screen just now. Just chopping some wood. Is that guy a lumberjack? Oh, See a lot, real. Of, lot of teams using those two-handed axes. Yeah. It's almost like crowbars, but the Polish just didn't half it hard. Mm. They're just Poland having qualified in first place in this group, so, so 
So three wins for Poland. Two wins for Germany. Sweden beat and Germany. Uh, one win for Sweden, one beat, uh, win for Quebec. Uh, Germany with three defeats. On uh, sorry, two defeats and one win. Sweden and Quebec now fighting for that second victory. There we go. Both teams quite tentative going forward. Oh, little golden man oh, running through yes. the middle. He loves to do that. Although he's about to get checked. So what you're looking for a difference in tabards here is the orange, uh, yellow cross. It's going to be Denmark and... Two down in the middle there. Quebec now with the advantage, having taken down Daniel Runquist on the left there. But Quebec has the white slash. Back hit from Quebec. Oh, it was a good back Nearly hit. Nearly down, but he's still he is down, he's down. He's down. So who are we going to help? Who are we going to help? Four to two now in favour of Quebec. Oh, the golden man is still hanging in there. Both these he's fighters. Got an absolute mutant on the way down oh. to check it. <laughs> <laughs> Doing such a great job there of using the other Quebec fighter as a shield. Stop, stop, stop. And that's stop. it. Three on one to Quebec. Fight stopped. Round one goes to Quebec. Saw the little Swedish fighter there with the golden armor just. Really using the man as a shield there to stop that big Quebecian with the two, uh, two handed axe from getting any strikes in. <laughs> Absolutely. It's nothing worse than when you see one of these monsters just lumbering away down towards you and it's like, okay. You see uh, Daniel Ronquist there in the Eastern armor in the center, the blackened armor. It's actually my old tooth armor that <laughs> used to be silver. He came and told me this morning, oh, I hope you don't mind your, your old armor, it's now black. I was like, oh, no problem at all, mate. It's your armor now. Exactly. I've done that. So, well, some of it sprayed, some of it I did on the barbecue. <laughs> oh, fair play. Fair play. Oh, big heavy on replay. Oh, just Sweden. squashing this man down. Lining up, you. ready to go. Swede's really keen to get this victory to take it to a third round. <laughs> Quebec, few of them resting on the lists. Could be a sign they're a bit blown. Could be an interesting round, this one. Hoping you guys at home can't hear the interference that we're hearing on the earphones here. Mm. Or cans, I believe, correct terms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting switch broken through the middle there. Man from Quebec down, Sweden nice. having the advantage here. See if they can capitalize on this. I'm not sure the sweet, the uh, another man down, four and four again now. Oh, well, All equal. Let's see. But that fighter from Quebec going down first was one of their big hitters, so. Anyone's game right now. Your armor's taking a good hiding. Oh, oh, big oh, slam! Fantastic throw from the Quebecian there. So, advantage in favor of Quebec. Four Quebec fighters on their feet, only three Swedes. Oh, two okay. more down there. Three on two advantage to Quebec. Got to watch himself here, this Swedish fighter. Two on one now, only. There's just chop time. And there he is. Victor. Opponent might be two, and I really don't want to have unfair play because yeah. maybe the opponent with the X is stronger than me. It's better to be friends. Yeah. Yes. So we have two interesting teams here. The German team is certainly more experienced than the Swedish one. I think they never met in the 10v10 before. No, no. But the Swedish team, they really trained. You see, you saw this in the, in the 5 versus 5. They have a few strong guys. They have good oh, the technique. The first German is down. And the Swedish guy is down yeah. as well. So. Uh, that's a bit of a surprise to see the Swedish holding on so well. Two more Swedish down. It's an advantage on the German side now. Yes. One of the Swedish lost his weapon. 
And he's back in. Yeah, we see a lot of talent on the Swedish side, but obviously also beginners who are not yes. so experienced with the sport. Oh, there's a heavy breathing yeah, the with a pole arm. Gets. Jan is really good, the guy with the oh, yeah. strange looking helmet on the helmet. It's an interesting helmet. Yeah. And he's checking his opponent if he's fine. Yeah. That's that's the victory goes to Germany, well deserved in that round. And it's like this is a perfect example for the sportsmanship in this very brutal looking sport. He just hit his opponent that was stuck in the clinch with another German guy several times, really heavy blows. Guy went down, and instead of him running away to another Swedish fighter and hitting them, he's checking, asking, hey, are you fine? Are you all right? That's really fair play. Really like that. And we see in the replay some of the clinches. A lot of clinching, a lot of hugging. Yeah, nice take down here. When you're taking a guy down near the barrier, you have to really, really make sure he is down because it can happen. Yep. He's just still on his feet, just very, very low. And then you walk away from him. You thought you got him on the ground and then he's back up and in your back. So it's not always unfair to check if the other fighter is really down. It's just something you've got to do. So we have some replacements on both sides. I think <laughs> even though at the IMCF annual summit, when they decided on having a 10v10 additionally, I was one of the people who said, I think it's a stupid idea. <laughs> and I, I confess, I was like, I was voting against it. And then they introduced it and I've been fighting in the 10v10 in Malburg and I loved it. Yeah, we didn't know Love it how, ever how it will come out. And the first time we saw it, we thought, wow, great. Because it has the dynamics of the 5v5, but the possibility for tactics, like in the 16 on 16, it's yeah. just amazing. It really has both, yeah. And we're on for the second round. Yeah. There's a Swedish runner. That was a weak tackle. Uh, he's looking Swedish for a target. Fast. And he's coming in. Oh, oh no, and he that's fell. Bad that's luck. always the bad problem luck. when you're not so big and heavy and you're tackling bigger, heavier guys. Yeah. Like you just. You can just bounce fall. off him, yeah. And I think one disadvantage the Swedish have here. Size? Not, yes, size. Is, it does matter here. German guys are really big. Yeah. Are they hammering him in the corner? Yeah. Oh, he refuses to go down. Oh, no, he's... Okay, he's out. He couldn't go down because he was sitting on the fence. Yeah. But that round it's, goes... It's actually over, but the ref referee set down the German fighter, I think, because of uh, hitting to the neck. Yeah. So the victory goes to Germany. Victory in two rounds. Quite decisive, yeah. And if our schedule is right, the next fight we're going to witness is France against New Zealand. Yeah, we hope the organizers didn't push in another competition we don't know about. <laughs> so the crowd is cheering for all the fighters. Germany lining up to leave the list all together. I think that that's a really good thing. Yeah. Keeps the team together. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really I, I noticed that you evil. don't care about pronunciation 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I do evil things to the English language here. And we're starting the first round. Sweden split up in two blocks. No, both are split uh, up in two blocks. Group. And oh, the oh. first New Zealand fighter is down. He started a strong attack. Knocked over. And again, we've got two big fights on two sides of the list. There's three Swedish guys on 
And yeah, slight advantage, bigger advantage it's now a bigger for the advantage Swedish. Yeah. For the Swedish. Right. He's down, he's down, he's down. There's, I think they raced him again. Yeah. Marshall's on ne negotiating. <laughs> they put the Swedish fighter down. I think because the it's Hellbot was three too, on one, too it's much much three to zero. Yeah. yeah. So the first round goes to Sweden. And um, I'm going to read this information now. The New Zealand black, white, and red flag is called the Tino Renga. Tiva Tanga flag. I should have read that before silently. <laughs> Black represents Te Kore Kore, the realm of potential being, the long darkness from whence. When. So it's a lot of oh, when mythological. The world stuff. emerged. Yes. Okay, it's like. Okay. This is a very bad handwriting that I'm facing here, so I'm, I'm really sorry. White represents the Te Ao Mara Rama, the realm of being and light. White also symbolizes purity, harmony, enlightenment, and balance. Red represents Te Wi Ao, the realm of coming into being. I think. Yeah. So I'm very sorry to all the New Zealand spectators right now if I pronounced like 80% of the words on this piece of paper wrong. I'm really sorry. No, please don't don't take any of this as offense, but the handwriting is really bad and I... And we're trying to understand the spirit here. So what I understand from this is it's a representation of a mythological world. And yeah, and it means a lot to them. <laughs> Does New Zealand have spare fighters? One. I see one yes, spare one. fighter on the New Zealand side. It's tough going into a 10v10 competition with only one spare fighter. Yeah, and into any competition, actually. I've never done that. I've never went into a competition with no spares. Maybe some, some little tournament or something, but not, not <laughs> a world championship. But on the other hand, think about how much money is involved in just getting here from New yes. Zealand. Oh, yeah, I, I, I get, I I get mean, this. Yeah. Without serious sponsorship, you all have to carry that mm. money by yourself. Yeah, and come on, I would have let them participate with nine guys. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I think they would. Yeah, and they would have done too, yes. This um, guy on the right flank of the Swedish team with the golden arms, he's very good. He's a little guy, but and that fast. Is super fancy arm and protection. Yeah. Super shiny. There should be more gold in the field, I tell you. You're one of these fancy guys too, <laughs> aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like me some of the flamboyant style, you know. The more fancy it is, easier it <laughs> breaks normally. Or it doesn't stay pretty a long time. And we're on for <laughs> the second round. And the Swedish runner is already on the back. Oh, the Fine. oh and, and very the good job. Take very down. good job, yes. Great I think take I down. remember him from last year from the 5v5. He's really fast. Yeah. Some take alongs. Looking for. He's a perfect example for size, doesn't matter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but then New Zealand holding on for dear life here. Two on six? Or yeah. Two, yeah, it's two and six. They stand their ground. And he's tripping over one of the other fighters that went down already. And the fighting is over. Yeah, clear decision for... Six to zero. So the, the victory in this fight goes to Sweden. So next on, we have the two so far best teams in this group, France and Germany. And That's going to be really interesting. A bit of a group finale here. Please 
report to the list. Denmark and Sweden prepares. So we have, we're already at fight number six. Pool A male 10v10 Buhurts competition. And... Okay, but there is a lot of respect here. There's a lot of bowing going on. And Coach the Swedish team, a good runner. Oh, oh, but the Swedish guy can stand it. He still stands, yeah. And there is ah, the Swedish, Swedish runner. runner. And first two guys are down. Second advantage for Sweden. Oh, Sweden is... I did not expect that. I didn't saw that coming. No. They really improved since last year. Yes. Oh, Swedish guy lost his helmet. Oh, he lost his helmet. That's bad. They improved since 10 minutes ago. True. And... Oh, and the Danish guy still Dan standing oh, there. And oh, and another Danish guy on the floor. Oh, but... Oh, that was such a good thinking to do that, but he's got down with Four him. Four on two. Well, I'd say Denmark can still do it, especially the guy on the right who's getting pushed down is Jesper Madsen, yeah. former national team captain, and he's a stand-up guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but, oh, oh, but he couldn't but do this, yeah. Not in this round. No. Oh, so it's over. And Sweden wins the first round. Who would have thought? Damn. I actually was a bit afraid for the Swedish because the Danes were so pumped and they wanted to do this and so much determination. Hmm. Curious about the second round. Yeah, me too. So come on, guys. I mean, it's the... Denmark has won, no, both of the teams have one more fight to go after this one. So, um, it's yeah. fight number seven now, out of ten. And especially Sweden has to fight France again. That, that will be a heavy one. But you see, the Swedish have improved a lot. Yes. Um, they are not not an old country to the sport. Oh, they're rather new. I'm not 100% sure when they joined. Have they been to Belmonte? I think they've been. A, yes, they. I I remember they've, pole arm fighter. Yeah, they've one been like two guys in Belmonte, yeah. 2014. 2015, there was a team. Five true, five. true, true. Yeah. It's quite some years. Yeah, but it's a lot of development, you know. You know how it goes. The gap between the, the, the old nations expensive. and the new nations is getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. That's some of the results from the last days were just amazing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if... Oh, okay. No. False start. Yeah. And uh, now he's going for it. Viking guy. Small round shield. And the fighting starts on the left side. Ah, the Swedish runner is looking for a gap there. And the first Danish is down. Yeah, but oh, That's great a action by a Swedish guy in the center. He just let a Danish runner slip past him. And fell to Denmark's in the lead. Oh, another take along over there. And the Swedish guy sits down back there, gets a lot of beating. Yeah. And I say a I lot of beating I a lot. See Sweden the lead here. Oh, that was good. Oh, and now. That's Jesper Metzen again. Jesper Metzen emerges victorious on the left side. He's a tank, he's an yeah. absolute tank. In his former gear, he looked like a space marine. Oh, and he's taken down great, another guy. Great. Oh my god! I love it when he's, he's, just he's in best form. Oh. He's just... He just doesn't care. Yeah. And 
Oh no, I he goes he... down. And we have a one versus one on the left side. One versus one. That could... Oh, wow! Well. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> we have a We're draw. For another you round. Wanted it, you have it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I feel, I feel sorry for the fighters because yeah. it's really exhausting. Uh, that, but on the other, on the other hand, it's really exciting as well. Not only for me up here and for you, yeah. Adam. And you have another chance. You have um, another chance to make it all right. Come on. But like, that must be worth something. <laughs> who would have expected that? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Sweden. Got the advantage, and then Jesper Madsen just sent yes. one Swedish yes, guy exactly. after each other to destination. Fuck! <laughs> 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 he just he just changed the whole outcome of this game. <laughs> it's amazing. We're not on Danish live TV, we're, so we're allowed to say bad words. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. In my, defense, yeah, let's, let's do this. in my defense, I spend a lot of time with Australian and New Zealand people, and they all have a very rude language. So I learned a lot of rude words from them. Yeah. It's, it's not my fault. It's, it's, my, it's all kindergarten's it's fault. My, yeah. It's my Australian education. <laughs> Fourth round, 10v10, yeah. Sweden against Denmark. Both teams really want <laughs> Scandinavian to Derby. Yeah. This is important for the Danish team. I mean, they haven't done great in this 10 versus 10 so far. And, and this Jesper, is the one they have to win. It's Jesper Madsen walking outside yeah. the lift. We, he's looking at us. Jesper! Hey, Jesper! There we go. <laughs> uh, he, did his, he did his job fine. So he's going to be replaced for that fight. And it's so... Tiring for the fighters, like, oh no, it's a draw, it's another round. Yeah. Carrying your gear, carrying, carrying your body. After three days of fighting, like, some of these guys have been fighting in all the other nominations as well. You know, the, you know this moment when you have to send guys in again who are coming to you and they, say, yeah. <laughs> trainer, I can't go in again, it's not possible, I'm done. And you said, and you said you're going in. You have to go in again, there's no, no other way. No you other have way. to do the job. And you see the tears <laughs> in, the, in their eyes, but then like something inside of them dies, and then they go in again. And then and they it's go born for it. again. Yeah. And I think that's like, what the New Zealand flag. I, I had the situation yesterday against USA. Like one of my guys was like, before the fight against USA, said, "I'm out. I can't go for it anymore." And said, "I need you. You're gonna go in first round." Mm. It's like, "No, please." <laughs> I said, "You go for it first round." It's like, or, or okay, and after the first round, I asked him, "You want to go out? No way! I'm staying in." <laughs> Fourth round. And the Danish are just waiting on their side. That's not a bad idea, because every it, step is exhausting now. That's the first thing, and the runner is not as yes. as good as the Swedish runner. So taking the advantage away from the runner, so yeah. they have to listen their back is actually good. They are a bit of the heavier guys having a listen their back is not a bad idea. Denmark can take a lot of beating. They can stand it. They stand their ground. A lot of one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah, and there's the runner again, and he takes the Danish guy down. Yeah. Uh, and we have three guys going down simultaneously. Ooh. Some people stuck on the barrier. No oh, free advantage here. Two. Oh, the two. two. Oh, that, with that the that moustache on his helmet. Yeah. Oh, no, he fell. Oh, oh that's a pity. That's a free, oh, free shit. to run. Oh, shit. It? No, it, there are two more guys on the left. Ah, back there. Oh, there's Thank a you. four on one situation. And victory goes to Sweden. Oh my god! That's great the, for Sweden, the, the but the crowd it's is cheering. Yeah, it's Lots not of their home team. Here. All right, but they're still cheering for Sweden. It's oh shit! There was some pity mistakes. Yeah, just some fumbles, some stuff that didn't have to have happened. Oh, 
but always like that. You can have a lot of tactics. You can plan ahead, and then two guys fall down simultaneously, and it's all. You can have the best plan and the best strategy in the world. Normally, all your strategy and your plans are go the fuck once the first yeah. contact with the other team is they, there. They seldom survive yeah. the contact with reality. 